former NFL star. The former NFL star, Darren Sharp. Former NFL star, Darren Sharper. Sharper will plead guilty to two counts of forcible rape and a count of simple rape in Orleans Parish, stemming from incidents that happened back in 2013. From NFL stardom to convicted criminal, this is the story of Darren Sharper's ultimate downfall. Born on November 3rd, 1975 in Richmond, Virginia, Sharper emerged as one of the NFL's most formidable defensive backs during his career. If we talk about his early years in life, Darren had very supportive parents to back him up at all times. Darren wasn't only good at football, he was also on the high school varsity team for basketball, as well as the track team. Sharper's basketball coach coach came out and said he had a tremendous support system throughout his time in school. Also, the coach expressed how good of a student Sharper was in high school. All of these accolades couldn't be possible without a supportive household, to say the least. So we can assume that his childhood couldn't have been the issue. Speaking of his time on the field, we gotta talk about how he launched himself to NFL stardom. After an impressive college career at William & Mary, where he was a consensus All-American, Sharper was drafted by the Green Bay Packers in the second round of the 1997 NFL Draft. And by all accounts, he had a tremendous career. He was one of those rare second round picks that bloomed after they were drafted with over 473 tackles and 137 assists in his eight seasons in his time with the Green Bay Packers. This is what you call a legendary stat sheet. He was a total iron wall and very few could break through him. And speaking of his defense, as a rookie, he scored three touchdowns, which is a franchise record. Outside the world of football, Sharper worked briefly for WWL TV as an analyst before leaving to take a position with NFL Network. After workouts with the Denver Broncos, New England Patriots and Green Bay Packers without a contract offer, Sharper reportedly announced his retirement after a 14-year career. During his 14-year career, Sharper played for the Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, and New Orleans Saints. He earned five Pro Bowl selections and was named on the NFL's 2000s All-Decade team. His prowess on the field was evident in his 63 career interceptions, which rank him among the league's all-time leaders. Sharper's most notable professional achievements included helping the Packers reach the Super Bowl in his rookie season and playing a critical role in the New New Orleans Saints Super Bowl 44 victory. His career was marked by numerous accolades, including being a two-time first-team All-Pro selection and leading the league in interceptions in 2009. Despite his success on the field, Sharper's post-football life took a dark turn. Starting in 2011, allegations against him began to surface, revealing a disturbing pattern of criminal behavior involving drugging and sexually assaulting multiple women across several states. The full extent of his crimes shocked the sports world and the public at large. Let's dive deep into the horrific motivations behind behind these terrible crimes. It's almost like a scripted movie. Sharper's method of committing these crimes followed a consistent pattern, meeting victims. Sharper would meet women at nightclubs, bars, or parties. Using his celebrity status and charm, he would gain their trust. Drugging, he would offer the women drinks that he had laced with sedatives like Ambien or Xanax. Assaulting, once the women were incapacitated, Sharper would sexually assault them. A couple of these women came out and said how they would wake up at Darren's place and didn't remember much about the night before and they weren't wearing any underwear. In their complaints, they mentioned they would slip in and out of consciousness, only waking up briefly at times to someone sexually assaulting them. Some of his victims even got rape kits. But what's disturbing is that the kits were never fully examined, so nothing ever came of it. We'll get into the details of these crimes a bit later. It's important to note that Darren Sharper himself almost premeditated his horrible crimes beforehand. He has a quote in the book, NFL Dads Dedicated to Daughters. In the book is a shocking preview of what he would end up doing himself. My daughter makes me mindful of how women are treated, undervalued, and exploited, which is why I felt compelled to take advantage of this opportunity to speak up about domestic violence. This was very ironic as Sharper did the opposite of what he was saying. Many speculate his dreadful behaviors didn't start until his career on the field ended. Sharper had used his fame to take advantage of vulnerable women. His crime pattern emerged in incidents across several states, including Louisiana, California, Arizona, and Nevada, leading to multiple charges. On March 18, 2011, two women filed a criminal complaint against Sharper with the Miami Beach Police Department, alleging they were possibly sexually assaulted after passing out at Sharper's condo on his couch and waking up to find their underwear missing. Both women discovered their underwear was missing and were taken to the hospital by Payano, where they underwent rape examination. On March 23, 2011, the Miami Beach Police Department closed the investigation five days after the incident. On February 2, 2013, Sharper was accused of helping drug a woman who was working as a model at a pre-Super Bowl party in New Orleans and was consequently raped by Sharper's friend, Brandon Licciardi. On September 23, 2013, Sharper was accused of drugging two women in New Orleans and raping them with his accomplice, Eric Nunes. One of the victims filed a report with the New Orleans Police Department. On October 30th, 2013, Sharper was accused of drugging two women and raping one of the women in Los Angeles after meeting them in a West Hollywood nightclub and bringing them back to his hotel room. On November 7th, 2013, the victim filed a police report with the LAPD. On November 20th, 
2013, Sharper, after meeting three female Arizona State University students in Tempe, Arizona, and was accused of raping two of them after drugging them. On January 14, 2014, Sharper, after meeting two women in West Hollywood nightclubs and taking them to his hotel room, was accused of drugging them and raping one of them. Both victims reported the incident to the LAPD and underwent rape examinations. On January 15, 2014, after meeting two women and a man in a nightclub in Las Vegas, Sharper was accused of drugging all three before taking the women to his hotel room and sexually assaulting both of them. The legal battle that ensued was complex and involved multiple jurisdictions. Sharper faced charges in state and federal courts, reflecting the widespread nature of his crimes. Sharper was first arrested in Los Angeles in January 2014 after a woman reported being drugged and assaulted by him. As investigations progressed, additional victims came forward from other states, leading to a cascade of charges. In March 2014, Sharper was formally charged with multiple counts of rape and other offenses across several states. In 2015, Sharper entered a global plea agreement to resolve the charges in all jurisdictions. He pleaded guilty or no contest to various charges, including sexual assault and administering controlled substances. This plea deal was intended to streamline the legal process and avoid multiple lengthy trials. In August 2016, Sharper was sentenced to 18 years in federal prison for his crimes. This sentence was part of the global plea agreement and included the following components. Federal sentence. Sharper was sentenced to 18 years for distributing controlled substances with intent to commit rape. State sentences. Concurrent sentences were handed down in California, Nevada, and Arizona, reflecting the severity and multiplicity of his offenses. Sharper's crimes and subsequent convictions had a profound impact on his legacy. Once celebrated as one of the NFL's top safeties, his reputation was irrevocably tarnished. The NFL and former teammates expressed shock and disappointment at Sharper's actions. His name was removed from several honor rolls, and his contributions on the field were overshadowed by his criminal behavior. Beyond the legal and public consequences, Sharper's actions had devastating effects on his personal life. Friends and family members, who once viewed him as a role model, struggled to reconcile the person they knew with the criminal he had become. His fall from grace was a cautionary tale about the consequences of unchecked behavior and the duality that can exist in public figures. From being a celebrated NFL star to a convicted criminal, Darren Sharper's life trajectory serves as a reminder of the impact of personal actions on one's legacy. His crimes, involving the drugging and sexual assault of multiple women, led to such consequences that left a stain in NFL history. After being in jail for 10 years in 2024, he'll be eligible for parole. If released to the general public, he'll have to have three to five years of sexual assault counseling and register as a sex offender. And whenever he gets out, he'll be watched closely for the rest of his life. That's it for today. Do you think Sharper will ever come out as a changed man? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're new to this channel, click on that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. And as always, stay tuned with NFL Insider.